back it up against the wall. You heard him. Back it up. Don't make us put some pain on you. Pain? How dare you use that word? He's got pins in his head. What you think of as pain is only a shadow. Pain has a face. Allow me to show it to you. Gentlemen, I am pain. We have such sights to show you. Chess, perhaps. I don't understand. Ah, the eternal refrain of humanity. Pleading ignorance, begging for mercy. Please help me. I don't understand. This is the life you chose, Joseph. All the people you hurt, all the appetites you indulged. You have destroyed your own innocence allowed your flesh to consume your spirit. Welcome to hell. Hello everybody and welcome back here to another showcase and review with the future and as you can see today we are focusing on a slightly different category than I'm used to uh, showing off and I want to thank my friend Crowbar30 here on YouTube and uh, he's here from my hometown actually for letting me get a hold of this figure and doing this review for everybody. Um, six months ago I did a little scan of Crowbar30's figures if you haven't seen it check it out. But um, within that video, I had a few comments of people wanting to see um, Pinhead reviewed, the figure Pinhead that was I scanned over of his. So um, when I was over there the other day, I grabbed the um, inbox Pinhead here, and um, the Pinhead he has opened up actually right here. Um, I actually recently um, have watched um, parts like 1 through 6, um, I need to watch 7 and 8, but um, that really sparked my interest in doing this vid as well because um, I remembered about him having the Pinhead figure. So let's get on with a little review. Um, there's Pinhead out of the box, first of all, and um, I wanted to note a few things about him, but let's check him out here in package first. Um, as you can see, he paid $12.99 at uh, some, somewhere for this. Uh, he was stationed in the Air Force and stationed a lot of places. so he was able to pick this up somewhere. This is made by NECA, by the way, and up in the left corner, I see it says Real Toys, um, as in Movie Reel, and you can see it says Hellraiser Series 1 on the back with a nice picture of, D of Doug Bradley as Pinhead. Um, Pinhead, very cool, the leader of the Cenobites. A lot of people may be unaware of um, the Hellraiser series, but um, if you're a horror movie fan at all, or just you know, wanting to see something very unusual, check out Hellraiser. Um, I watched it recently, had never watched it before, and um, have really became a fan of Pinhead and uh, Hellraiser. Um, you can see the hook going into some flesh there on the package. You can see it says Pinhead down at the bottom, has a piece of the puzzle box. And I'm not going to ruin the story for anybody who has not seen it. So I'm not going to get too in-depth on the movie, but that is the puzzle box. Also, as you can see, he had a sticker on here, which I'm not going to remove. I probably would if it was me, but I'm not going to remove it since it's not mine. Um, but there you can see the puzzle box there, along with a uh, some kind of sickle knife sort of deal, which is very similar to what he has here on his belt, too. 
Um, so that's very cool. Two accessories he came with. And the one he has out of the package, he did not, um, he, does, he has lost the box and uh, um, weapon that it come with. But he does have these weapons here, you know, on his belt, a plethora of, um, plethora, whatever you want to say, of weapons. I usually don't use uh, such big words, so sorry. Um, very, very nice likeness of Doug Bradley as um, Pinhead. If you're looking at that, you can just, um, with the theme music playing, it's just very creepy. Pinhead has to be one of the most badass um, uh, horror movie uh, killers, or well, I don't know what you would categorize him as, a uh, villain of all time. Um, he is right up there with Jason and Freddy and Michael Myers, in my opinion. I'd love to see a fight between him and Freddy, because actually, if you have seen the movies, um, he can penetrate the dream world, so it'd be a nice um, setup to face Freddy, in my opinion. And what a better battle that would be than Freddy Krueger against uh, Pinhead. But I doubt it would ever be made, but uh, it'd be really cool. Um, it'd be cool to see him fight anybody. <laughs> Pinhead, very unusual and different from the other um, movies too. So if you think if you're thinking he is like a Freddy Krueger or a um, Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers, um, when you see the movies, you'll think differently because he is more psycholi psychologically um, threatening, and he does he doesn't do his killing by his own hands. I mean, he does kill people. But it's in a different way, and I'm not going to ruin the movie for people, and that's where the hooks with the flesh come in here. Um, they're more ripped apart by hooks um, than anything, and I think I'm going to give a little bit of a depiction at the beginning of this video and a little uh, um, sequence that I'm going to put before the video to open it up, a little opening. I'm going to show a guy getting hooked with the hooks so everybody kind of knows what that means. Um, but very cool. He's got it... Um, swivel um, I'd say biceps there he's got a uh, swivel at the um, shoulder he's got a uh, swivel wrist so they did put a little bit of articulation and same with the other arm but uh, other than that he does not move he has no leg movement but you can see there are two feet here underneath um, but it's a rubbery like um, material wrapped around his legs to make it look like he's wearing the uh, trench coat or the cloak or whatever you want to call it that he's wearing. Um, very nice detail. I'm just going to give a nice up and down shot here. This is incredible. NECA makes some incredible figures and I would love to get some more figures from NECA but they are quite expensive. This one $12.99 back probably when these guys came out with Series 1 which has probably been a while now. But he held on to him. He is a big um, Hellraiser movie fan. And such as I. Um, you can see a nice side profile view. Just like the movie, this flap does flap down. The pins um, are not metal or anything. For any parents out there who'd be wondering. Um, they are just rubbery. But, uh, I mean, it pulls off the look great. Um... So there's a nice look at Pinhead close up. And now we're going to look. Well, here it says collect all six figures to create your own puzzle box. So that's what the piece is. And it also serves as like you could put them on, a, on it as a stand too, in my opinion. On the back here, um, it says Pinhead, the dark prince of pain, angel of suffering, Leviathan's lord of the damned. In the first world war, Captain Elliot Spencer witnessed many atrocities. His appetites were indulged. But it was through the lament, configuration, and the order of the ga gash that a world of experience beyond limits would open up to him and eventually become his domain. Sorry, I did not read this before this. Now with his um, crown of golden pins embedded deep into his skull, he walks the corridors of hell and the nightmares and fantasies of the living. So there you go. You can fight Freddy. I'm just saying, it'd be a great movie. Um, down here you can see other figures from Series 1. You have, um, I think these are called the Wire Girls. Um, you have Stitch. Um, 
which is right here. That would be Chatterer on the right of Pinhead there. And then you have CD, and then you have uh, the Chatter Beast. Um, so very cool. Very cool. And down here a little um, Chatterbox creature like um, that was in like the uh, sixth, fifth film. I can't remember. Um, over to the right it has, you know, the creative team. It shows all the um, members, I guess, for these figures. Down here it says 2003 Miramax Film Corporation, all rights reserved. Real Toys, Neck and Neck Online. Um, it says collect them all. Visit the Hellraiser website, www.hellraiserthemovie.com. Nice pictures of the puzzle right there. And a nice picture here of Hellraiser to the right holding his puzzle, which we, I do not have, and the weapon as well, which I do not have um, at the time. But very cool packaging. Um, and you can see all the chains that uh, usually hook into the people's flesh when he sends them to hell and finishes them off. But very nice. Um, like I said, if you haven't seen the Pinhead movies and you are a horror fan, fan um, horror film fan, I suggest checking all the pinheads out. I've recently been watching them all, and I am trying to pick up uh, Ultimate Disc Set One through um, Parts One through Seven. Um, as everybody knows, Clive Barker um, was the one who came up with the concept of Pinhead, and he directed and um, wrote the screenplay for the first um, Hellraiser. And then from there on, Clive really not hasn't had much to do with the um, series, but I think all the movies are very cool and stay true to the original in some form or another, and um, are very psychologically thrilling sometimes, and um, not always just a gore fest. Uh, the first couple are kind of gory, um, but then it gets kind of different. You know, they even go back into the origins of the puzzle box and whatnot, but I don't want to give away a lot of things, but... Um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching, and this is a special um, look at Crowbar 30's um, Hellraiser Series 1 pinhead figure uh, by NECA Real Toys. Um, and like I said, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. If you like what you see, make sure you uh, subscribe and uh, add me as a friend, and I will accept. And also, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button, and um, go... Uh, add crowbar 30 and subscribe to him i'll put his link below and i want to thank you very much crowbar 30 for letting me review this figure for everybody and as always peace out